Hello everyone, Dragonfly here in uh, DCS World with a, uh, another ABA uh, Harrier mission build. Today's video is going to be the first in a series where we're going to be building a uh, seed mission. And in today's video, we're going to be building this highway forward area refueling and uh, rearming point, FARP. It's a highway FARP. And I'll show you step by step all that's uh, required to uh, build this fully functioning FARP. So let's get into the ECS World Mission Editor and get started with the process. Okay, here we are in the uh, DCS Mission Editor. And right now I have the uh, mission up that we're going to be building in these next couple of videos. But as I said, we're going to start out with a brand new uh, map, clean map, and uh, build the mission from there. So I'm going to go over here to the file menu, come down to new, hit new. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. We'll hit yes. First thing that comes up uh, starting a new mission or your new mission settings. Over here on the left are the different maps uh, modules that you might have. And uh, as we said, we're going to be using the Caucasus. It's already highlighted as Caucasus, so we're good there. As far as the uh, coalitions, I'm not going to really go into this too much other than to say you can move move things around, uh, like basically just by, say, we wanted Chile to be uh, on the red side, we'd hit Chile and then go boom on the red arrow there, and, and now it's in the red coalition, okay? The only one I would suggest is if you put this U.S. Air Force <clears throat> aggressors in the red section, you'll be able to fly anything. Okay, so we'll hit OK. And it comes up to a blank Caucasus map. Now for our FARP, we need to pick out a location uh, that uh, we want to uh, go to uh, to put our FARP down. And I've already scouted out a pretty good location that's in Grid Golf Golf 3655. If you'll notice uh, here along this line, it has uh, some uh, letters. The Golf Golf Grid is right here. So we'll start zooming in. And I happen to know it's north of Kobaletti, so I'll go up here a little bit more. There's Golf Golf 35. As we zoom in more and more, the uh, grid narrows down more and more. And we're wanting 30, what do we say, 3655, which is right here in this area here. So let's zoom in on that. And the area we're looking at for our Highway Farp is this grove of trees. It will give us some nice cover. And then we've got this nice, long, straight highway that we can use for our runway. Okay, before we get into setting down the Farp, I will briefly mention also, you can change the weather if you'd like um, by coming up here to the date, time, and weather, clicking on that. Uh, we're going to leave it as the 21st of June. I'll change the time to uh, 10 o'clock. Make it nice and uh, bright. Now for the weather, if you click on this picture that's in here, this is the default weather, light scattered 2. It comes up with a whole bunch of uh, presets in there that you can, if you really want to get into some uh, different types of weather, you can you can do that. Let's just say that we want to change to high scattered too. I'll click on that, come down here to OK, OK, and now I have high scattered too as my weather. You can also do a lot of uh, you know dynamic weather and uh, you know changing wind speeds and things like that. But we're not going to go into that. That's beyond the scope of what we're going to be doing. Okay, so. Let's put down our highway FARP, and it's called an invisible FARP. It's located under the 
add or modify static object thing that looks like a bridge over here left click on that it comes up um, first thing we want to look at is the country USA which is the country we want uh, the category the FARPs are actually under heliports so we come down to menu to heliports and it actually popped up with type FARP but we don't want the uh, padded FARP like it shows here we want the invisible FARP now I mean there are all kinds of them you can have a, a, a single helipad uh, this is a new one I haven't used this one yet the uh, pad single this looks pretty neat and the one we're going to use is invisible FARP and you can see it comes up as static invisible FARP Okay, well, let's place that down. Now, for some reason in this area, as close as I can get it to the road, I'm gonna put it right here, left click, and try to drag it down as close as I can to the road. And that's as far down as it'll go to the road, but that, it, it, it will work for our purposes. Okay, so that's actually our invisible farb. You really can't tell it's there other than the T. For the name of it, <clears throat> I'm going to leave the call sign as London. You can change it to whatever you'd like, Dallas, Paris, Moscow, whatever. But we're going to leave it at London. So I'm going to call the name of it L-O-N FARP. And same way with the unit name. L-O-N FARP for London FARP okay and you can change <coughs> pardon me you can change the heading uh, I normally put put it about 90 degrees to the uh, road I'm not really sure what the configuration what it looks the outline of the FARP looks like but that works I'm not going to change the frequency of the uh, FARP we'll leave it at 127.5 oh, okay so that's our London FARP down. Now, to actually make this as a FARP, and uh, again, FARP stands for Forward Area Refueling Point, uh, to make it so that we can actually rearm and refuel with this FARP, uh, there's a couple of vehicles that we have to put down. There's also a couple static uh, buildings structures that we can put down too. I'll show you all of those. I'm going to put all four of them down. Just be, I, I like doing it. It makes it look look nicer anyway. So let's zoom in here a little bit. Get get the road nice and big. Okay. So the vehicles that we want, we'll go into the vehicle menu, ground units under USA. The category will be unarmed, and the type, we don't need a subcategory, the type, there are two vehicles. You need the refueling vehicle, and you need an ammo vehicle. So refueling, it's easy, refueler M978HEMTT, okay? So that's one. And I said we need two vehicles, so I'm going to come up here to unit. Well, actually, I'm going to put it down. Let's put that vehicle down, boom. And now I want two vehicles, so this is the second vehicle here when I hit the two up there. And the second vehicle, which is selected in yellow, is going to be this truck M939 Heavy. Okay, truck M391 Heavy. So we have ground one and ground two. You can change the names uh, to whatever you want. Okay. Now let's go back to the first vehicle. We're going to hit edit. If you hit, it's on the add menu right now. So if I hit uh, anywhere on the uh, map, it'll start giving me root points since it's also on the root menu. We, we don't want that. We want to edit what we've got right now. So we hit edit for the refueling vehicle i want it facing eh, kind of that way so that we're going to put our aircraft down here and that way it looks like he's 
backed up ready to refuel the aircraft. And for the ammo vehicle, I'm going to put it beside him and kind of backed up like that also. Okay. The skill really doesn't matter. Uh, nothing else on this uh, menu really matters. So those are the two vehicles that you that you need. So we'll come off of vehicle group. And now I'm going to show you the two static structures that you can use also if you'd like. So look at the bridge add or modify static object. Hit that. Under USA, the, the category will be structures. And what we need are FARP ammo storage. We'll pick that one. And I'll put it down here and point it that way and change the name a little bit here to London FARP ammo storage. And same on the unit. And that's all we need to do on that one. Okay. Now we need to come back into the static menu again. And this time, under the type, we want the FARP fuel depot. We'll pick that. See, it changes the name. And we'll put that right here. Pointed about the same direction as the uh, ammo storage. Do the same thing up here and change the name to London Farp Fuel Depot. L-O-N. And there we go. We have all of the units, the two static units, and the two vehicles. But like I said, you could just use the two uh, static units or the two vehicles also. Okay, so let's place down a client airplane right now, uh, a player airplane. So we go into the add or modify aircraft group, airplane group, left click on that. It is USA. The type we want is a Harrier, AVA, NA, BNA. Under skill, though, we want to put client. Okay, let's place that airplane down here. Okay, and now I'm going to change the name. And we're going to have this airplane already started, ready to go. And so I like to call, be pretty specific on my naming on the name because that's what pops up in the menu for you to be able to select which airplane you want to fly. And so for this one, I'm going to put uh, L-O-N FARP HOT, since it's already going to be started. Harrier. Okay. And for the pilot, I'm just going to put my call sign, Dragonfly. And call sign, we're going to be Dodge. All right. Okay. So that's all in there. That all looks good. It's already on the root menu, so we'll put a couple of points in. Let's put, let's back out a little bit here with my scroll wheel here. And we'll put point one here and point two. And, and we'll put more points in uh, eventually, but for right now, that's all we're going to put in. Okay, so we have two root points. It's a client airplane, so I'm not going to worry about altitude speed and all that because we're going we're gonna to do what we'd like. Let me hit edit. <clears throat> Now I need to go back to waypoint zero. 
as you see right now the type it says is a turn point well we're wanting to start from the ground hot so I'll go into the menu and down here where it says take out take off from ground hot we'll click that and now that airplane will be started when we uh, come into the mission and since I put uh, the first waypoint pretty much along the highway, he's pretty much pointed in the direction we need to go down the, uh, down the highway. Now, you can come over from the route menu here to the payload menu, click on that, and you can put a payload in if you'd like, but I'm not gonna do that because I wanna be able to refuel and rearm from the FARP. So I might change the uh, weapons that I want or the uh, fuel load that I want. I practically change them all the time. So I'm just going to leave it empty. But you can put uh, different configurations in there for whatever type of weapons and fuel loads you want. Okay. So let's, we're done with the airplane. Now the only other essential thing that I like to put in on my FARPs is a tack in, you know, a navigational aid that we can go ahead and use to find our FARP when we're coming back from a mission. Now, I'm going to show you something here. It's, I know it's bad to show bad habits, but I'm going to show it anyway. Here under the static menu, under the uh, structures menu, under type there's a unit called beacon tack in portable tts 3030 do not use this this is a non-functional tack in the tack in that you have to use is un actually <laughs> under the ground units menu under Okay, USA, that checks. Category, <laughs> under fortification. I don't know why a tack in is a fortification, but it is. And the type, just like it was in the static menu, Beacon Tack In Portable TTS 3030. Okay, so let's, let's put that down. There's a field right over here. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to name it. L O N TAC N. I'm going to say 50 because that's going to be the channel of it. Okay, it is USA fortification. Type is a beacon. The unit name, I'm going to say London TAC N. Okay, and I, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put the skill to excellent. And I'm going to point it to the north. I don't think that matters either, but. I do it anyway. Okay, so that's our tack in, but it's not turned on yet. To actually get it to work, we have to come down to this menu down here, Advanced Waypoint Actions. We hit Advanced Waypoint Actions, and down here on the menu below that, we hit Add. It comes up with another menu. Under the type on this menu, we have to have perform command okay under perform command the action all the way at the bottom activate tack in so perform command activate tack in we keep coming down the menu don't have to do anything here make sure bearing is checked we'll use x-ray for the channel mode the channel as i said i wanted to use 50 so let's change that to 50. the call sign Again, don't really need it, but I like to put it in. It's going to be LON for other, other airplanes that this would show up. Okay, uh, and as the important thing you have to do here also is under unit, you have to link that tack in back on itself. So unit, and you see here where we'd already named it London tack in, boom, London tack in. And now that becomes, an, that is an operational tack in now.
Okay, those are all of the required units for a uh, FARP. Now, I like to pretty mine up a little bit by putting, you know, tents and command posts and uh, uh, a few infantry people around, that, that kind of thing, security forces. So I'm going to do that. It's pretty basic what I'm doing here. But uh, I'll show you how to do it. I'll go into the ground unit menu. And under USA, under category, uh, we'll start with armor. I'm going to put armor because I'm going to put some Bradleys and the like in there. And I'm going to put them over here, just let's name it. I'll just call it London FARP Security Force. And I should have done that at the beginning. I wouldn't have to retype. Okay. And yeah, we'll make their, all, all their skills as excellent. Because I'm going to put... Oh, let's use about 10. 10 units in. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to change them and move them around. Now, the, we're going to come down here to edit instead of add. And then I'm going to move. You can move the whole group around with the number one unit. When you move number one, all of them will move. So put, make sure you put one where you want it. Oh, and I'm going to put it right here because I'm going to make this one actually a uh, fire truck let's see here refueler RAF rescue firefighter and this unit here HEM MTT FFT okay so the first one's a fire truck let's go to the second one and we'll make him a, uh, a Bradley the third one we'll make, you know, actually I'm going to change that to air defense and we'll make the third one a linebacker if I can find it near. It's funny how I always have a hard time finding the linebacker in here. I'm probably looking right at it and not seeing it. Right, let's make it a chaparral then. And four, let's make it a Humvee, Scout Humvee. Five. Uh, striker and then the rest of them will make infantry infantry and I just use the uh, M4 and the um, M249, just to mix them up a little. Okay. Infantry. 
And you can see this is a little tedious, so bear with me. Infantry. Infantry. Okay. And now we're going to drag all these guys around and repoint them. So the, we'll come back onto the number one unit here, select it. And we'll point him towards uh, our aircraft, because that's the way he would normally be pointed. Now I'm going to drag number two, which was a Bradley. I'll drag him up here. Actually, he'll help uh, by having him out in the middle of the field. We'll be able to see our FARP a little bit better because when uh, we're uh, when we have everything uh, down, it's a little hard to see this FARP in these trees. And let's see, I'll point him about that direction. Okay, the third unit that was our air defense unit. I'm going to bring it out here. And point it that way. And let's see. Let's bring a bring him down here. That was our scout um, V, and we'll point him south. Let's put our striker there. And now we have our infantry guys. Let's put them. Like they're guarding the fuel depot and stuff. Let's see here. I'll put him over here. Point him looking at the airplane. Another guy here, point him that way. This guy here. And I'll put another one over here. Okay. And again, you can pretty that up as much as you want with uh, the units, but uh, there's some other statics uh, units that I like to use. So I'll go into the static menu again. And under structures, I'm going to put a, there's a couple FARP ones, some FARP tents. So let's put a couple tents here for, for, for our guys. And I'm not going to change the name of that. And we'll point it that direction. Let's see, and we'll do another tent. And I'll point it kind of that direction. And then we'll do a command post. If I can see. And we'll put it down here in the trees. Try that again. And we'll point it this way. Actually, this one I actually changed to a command post by mistake. Let's make that a tent. There we go. Okay. Let's save this real quick. First time you save it, it'll come up and ask you what you want to save it as. So let's save it as, I don't want to save it over top of that one. I'll just put, uh, I'm just going to call it Sanaki. Seed mission build tutorial. All right. Now, that's a fully functional FARP right now, but let's check it out just to make sure. Let's hit fly. Okay, that's the weather that we put in, which really was not much of a change. 
hit start and you can see here the group name London Farpot Harriers what we put in for our airplane and it says take off from ground hot so we'll select that and hit OK hit fly now I'm going to hit F2 here just so we can look around our farm you can see there's the uh, fire truck there's our airplane the refueler our ammo the tents back there the fuel depot there's the command post and you can see our guys now of course if you're like me you don't like those labels I'll show you how to turn those off and another thing, I was hoping we'd have some, but we don't, is civilian traffic. Uh, when you're using a highway FARP, uh, sometimes the vehicles will just kind of run right through your airplane. It looks weird. So I normally will turn off the uh, civilian traffic, and I'll show you how to do that. And also, if you see, the airplane's not com like completely lined up. Looks like it needs to go another couple degrees to the right, so we'll switch that too. But what I wanted to show you is if I come into the uh, DCS menu and hit ground crew and hit rearm refuel, I'm just going to add a couple of uh, sidearms just to show you that uh, the rearming works, and I'll bring the fuel load down to 98 percent and I'll hit OK request refueling request copy. rearming you have to hear the ground copy. crew say copy and they have the little message up in the left there if you don't see that then you're not getting refueled and you're not getting uh, rearmed refueling complete. And so the refueling's complete See the side uh, arms pop on there real quick. Let's see. Rearming complete. There we go. Took him a while to do that. And there's our side arms. So let's back out of this and I'll show you how to to uh, change a couple small things and then we'll uh, finish up this video. Quit. Back to the mission editor. And to get rid of the labels and the civilian traffic, I'm going to come up here to the customize menu to the mission options. Hit mission options and there's a whole host of things that you can change. You have to, they have an enforce line over here, which basically means uh, it'll enforce whatever you've uh, ticked on the right. So, for example, I like the battle damage assessment uh, overlay. Some people don't like those, so I, I usually leave it in. But for the civilian traffic, right now it's not ticked. If I tick it, Actually, let me tick that. You see it says medium, off, low, medium, and high. If you're going to use a highway FARP, I recommend hitting that to off. Now, if we come up to labels, we'll enforce them. And we can do full, abbreviated, symbol only, dot neutral, or no labels and I want no labels okay and that's usually the only things I change within my uh, mission options okay so we've built our FARP today 
and uh, in the next video uh, we'll be putting down some targets for a seed mission up at Sanaki and we'll probably also add a uh, AI group of uh, F-16s from Turkey to help us out with the seed and just build, continue to build our mission from there. So thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it, you found it informative. So take care and hope to see you next time. Dragonfly out.